what is going on to you uh capricorns out there so so you capricorns have the ten of swords the king of pentacles which is capricorn in the minor arcana but you have the ace of pentacles as well right um a lot of you capricorns have been in messed up relationships um so far and a lot of i'm getting notifications but a lot of you capricorns have been in messed up situations before um you've been in a lot of situationships uh people that didn't unfortunately want to take you capricorns seriously and because of it a lot of you are very much so guarded right says the ten of swords um you've been through a lot and you know it kind of shows in in the way that the way that you capricorns actually date you know y'all are not the most uh, uh talkative of people anyway um when it comes to capricorn a lot of you usually like to keep your cards close to your chest a lot of earth signs in general uh do that type of stuff anyway so the thing is that the king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles right here is about the value that you capricorns have though right so it speaks to you capricorns having that value even though you're you're sequestering it you're hiding it away because you capricorns understand that you can't show everybody obviously your um your value because once you show people your value or you show them a little bit too much a lot of you capricorns have the mentality that people will use you for it and there's some construction in the background happening but um i mean you capricorns are correct you know i'm not even gonna sugarcoat it you capricorns are most definitely correct um bring value to a person but don't bring so much value to the point where it it goes into the realm or it starts going into you know doing too much all at once you know there there is a line between uh bringing value and providing too much all at once so a lot of you capricorns have learned over time like i was talking about to not put everything that you are out there and even still to this day it's it's prevalent it's just that now you capricorns are actually willing to open up a little bit but you capricorns still understand the assignment you're still going to stay away from people who give you a hard time right people playing games you capricorns are just now a lot more wiser about who it is that you interact with um the two of cups and the empress represents how um a lot of you capricorns your standards is what they are now i will say this though to kind of help to to well to not kind of help you capricorns out big time is to not think that your standards are your expectations and that don't allow your expectations to be higher than what your actual standards are because the truth is is that your standards should be basic because your standards create the foundation right it, it it literally creates the foundation it creates the foundation for any relationship so what goes on here is you don't want your expectations the things that you want right the the extra things that you want right that's kind of the icing on the cake of having a relationship that's what an expectation is to to overcompensate or go so far beyond a standard right an example of a standard and an expectation is like a standard i don't know for me for an example is like honor integrity decency um work ethic you know i like people who you know mean what they say say what they mean you know you understand what I'm saying? People who ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody's stunting like they're grownups, but they act like children though, because they scared too much about trying to fit in. That's little, that's, that's little stuff. That's not grown stuff. Overly preoccupied with having this chip on their shoulder, jealousy. That's, that's not something you're supposed to have when you're an adult. That's something that, that little ones have. When you become an adult, you're supposed to put that jealousy and envy away you're supposed to you're supposed to get rid of that you're supposed to literally throw that in the trash can you feel me 
you're supposed to have been done throwing that in a trash can and have the garbage man come pick that up. Real talk. So, so an expectation of mine is, I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? And I, I mean, an expectation of mine is to, is to give me access to who the person is really, because a lot of times people will try to make it seem like for me it's about the it's about the physical fun thing right when that's not even what it is because i don't get a whole lot of that you know how many times people have will tell me about what they're not gonna do and you know all types of goofy nonsense right <laughs> what they're not gonna do right when it would make common sense for them to do it because i'm gonna make you rich and i'm gonna love you right and, it, and it's not going to be the shallow type of love i'm a lot so it's like it it literally makes sense for you to do that it would be advantageous for you to do for me it would make it would make sense for you to do that for me it would be a no-brainer but so what happens is that it's not even necessarily about the physical fun that's not even what it's about and this is what i mean when i say thinking downstairs it's not even about just the physical fun per se it's about the access to the person right why would you be in a relationship with me and you're not gonna and you steadily telling me about everything that you're not going to do you're making that the highlight instead of you telling me about what you are going to do and why me even despite you telling me about some drawbacks about yourself tell me something that is worth having you around despite the drawbacks and they don't talk about that type of stuff so it's the same type of concept for you capricorns right it's like you don't want to allow your expectations to overcompensate for your your standards you have to understand what your standards are and once you understand what standards are what your specific standards are then you capricorns will be able to understand um your own value because those standards that you have you're supposed to have them within yourself right so i'm hard working i work hard whatever it is that i i whatever it is that i have an interest i want to be the best at it i, I study it i want to understand i want to understand how to become better i want to become better at it right i'm a go-getter right you know a couple of my friends told me that you know, when they listening to, to Lil Wayne's uh, song or Lil Wayne's rap song, Go Getter, uh, it reminds me of me, right? This is what they said to me. They said that it reminds me of me, Kareem. So, um, not only that too, but love, love, I love deeply, right? And I, and you know, share in the love, share in the trust, right? My resources, is also yours, your resources, but your resources has to be my resources too. I need to have access to you, right? So based upon, and, and, and a whole bunch of other things that I bring to the table, yada, 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 right? Boring, nobody wants to hear about me. But the point that I'm trying to make here with that is based upon what I'm willing to bring to the table, I'm able to understand like, okay, this is, this is my standards because I do this. You know, so now the King of uh, Cups and the Five of Swords right here represents how um, some of you Capricorns still feel kind of rejected, though, to a certain extent. You shouldn't. I mean, piggybacking off of a couple of days ago, you shouldn't feel rejected, to be honest with you. I have, you know, the relationship wasn't necessarily meant to work out, and it's cool. The, the, the three of pentacles right here represents you know you capricorns deserve to be with with to be with somebody that that uh that you can see eye to eye with that you will put an effort with and they will put in an effort with you simple like that you know it doesn't have to it's not supposed to be overly complicated it's really not <laughs> so the two of swords and the nine of swords right here represents how you know um you Capricorns didn't like this confrontation. And you Capricorns may be worried about if this person is coming back, if they're gonna cause you stress or anything. We're definitely gonna have to um, clarify some of these cards because, okay. 
What do you mean when you say stress? Let's clarify the Nine of Swords. It's my dog over there. You have the Nine of Cups, the Page of Swords, Three of Wands, the Six of Cups, ooh, and the Temperance. Um, ooh. So, so you think, okay, so you think that this, okay, let's slow down. So the Nine of Cups and the Page of Swords represents you Capricorns, you Capricorns see them as a person that don't take you seriously. You you saw this ex that doesn't take you seriously. They they look at you and they think that you weren't meant to be taken seriously. The Three of Wands and the Six of Cups is about how, but you're worried that this person is going to come back. Or maybe this person has come back, right? Sent you a text message or called you or you know, tried to come over and knock on your door or something like this or what have you. And, you know, um, this person may have actually tried to reach out. And now it's like you Capricorns are like, this person, you know, you, I don't know, like this person is a, is a big mystery. And the temperance represents you Capricorns having, just thinking, just understanding that you may need a little bit of, like you you don't need to be dating anybody right now, right? Because I'm, I'm seeing that honestly, you Capricorns are really kind of hung up with this person, right? This person has really captured, <laughs> really captured your attention right around, right around now. And you're just trying to figure out what the situation is. You know, you don't want to rush into a, another another uh, situation with somebody, right? It could have it could have turned out well, but it turned into a situation ship because what happened is is that um, uh, like how do I say this? You were trying to you were trying to like date them and stuff like this and like it turned out to be it turned out to to not be going well because like I said this person may not have thought of you as being serious so now it's like you Capricorns and this person has to you, you know you, you may you Capricorns may want to give it another try because you know I'm I'm speaking to your feelings like you you may want to give it another try because you don't necessarily think or see that this person was really taking you seriously. Says the Nine of Cups and says the Page of Swords. This person had their own stuff. And, you know, they they didn't think that you Capricorns were actually serious about this thing. So now it's like the Three of Wands and the Six of Cups. Honestly, if you Capricorns really want to date this person again, you, and it's crazy because the sun is here and then this person, sun's back here anyway the point is is that if you want to if you want to date them again you really have to show them that you're serious because this person just doesn't take you seriously so um the temperance represents here that now it's like you're looking for the you're looking for the wisest decision like what do you do exactly right um i mean we can go in we could go ahead and clarify the temperance uh, uh we could clarify the nine of swords again you know, it is what it is. I ain't tripping off of it. So you have the magician, the four of pentacles, the high priestess, then you have the ten of swords, mm, and then you have the three of pentacles, which you already have. So the magician and the four of pentacles represent how a lot of you Capricorns think that you're just going to be stable and you're going to you're going to be as stable as you possibly can and get over this person. Um, the three of because the high priestess and the ten of swords, uh, you see this person as like being betrayed before and they don't trust other people. And the three of pentacles right here is, um, you know, you Capricorns deserve to uh be in a place where you have a belonging value, right? People want you there, you belong there, you have similar value systems, 
with the people that live there. So all that type of stuff, you know, you, you, you belong there. So a lot of you Capricorns understand that, you know, this person, like I said, to, to give you, to help give you some closure, you and this person may not necessarily be the best fit for each other because um, you may see them as an individual that is closed off or is, you know, not necessarily the most open book in the world, even more closed, closed uh, of a book than you are. And the Three of Pentacles represents, you know, don't force it. If it's a situation that's supposed to happen, if it's a relationship that's supposed to happen, then let it happen. You know, don't don't force the situation. But that's it. Um, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. There's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link. Click on it. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Hit the notification bell. Set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. I'm trying to get to 20,000, basically to 100,000 uh, subscribers and everything like that. So please subscribe.